welcome to all on the on the course of refrigeration and air conditioning i am prabhupad sanabati lecture in mechanical department today i am going to deliver to continuous series of refrigeration compressor and today topic is hermetic seal compressor construction working principle advantage and disadvantage and last part the application so first start from the introduction part of the hermetic seal compressor so how to define the hermetic seal compressor when the motor and the compressor are in the same shaft and enclosed in a common casing then they are known as the hermetic seal compressor so now you observe this is the motor motor and this is the compressor are in a same shaft then it will be hermetic seal compressor and they are enclosed in a single casing then you come to the construction part so here the two unit two unit means motor prime mover unit and the compressor unit enclosed in a closed casing and this is a very very compact size of compressor and here you observe the motor first the observe the different parts of the hermetic seal compressor so easily we can understand the working principle first this is the motor uh, motor on compressor single shaft both are uh, on the single shaft then this is your service line and this is your compressor reciprocating compressor and this is the piston and this is the cylinder and this is the suction port and this is discharge port and this is the motor winding motor winding and and this is the motor and this is the oil the suction line is passed through the motor winding so that it will absorb the heat from the motor winding because of when motor start to run after some time the motor winding heat up and as it is a, a enclosed or enclosed casing so heat dissipation is not easy so who will carry the heat the suction line the refrigerant from the uh, evaporator that is below atmospheric temperature minus 10 degree celsius or 10 degree celsius not minus 20 10 degree celsius it will absorb the heat on the motor so that temperature of the refrigerant will be increased then it will go to the com uh, compressor then it will come to the compressor this is only different from the other type of compressor here the suction line is not directly connected to the compressor and as previous process the piston start move from uh, left to right during the left to right the suction the low pressure vapor refrigerant shaft into the compressor when the piston start to move left to right at the time it will be compressed and it will discharge to the condenser so this is about the working principle let's come to the advantage 
and now you observe this is the animation video this animation video you observe this is the suction line which is passed through the motor winding so that it will carry the heat so the uh, when it carry the heat the motor winding will be safe otherwise motor winding will be burn out and it will be compressed again it will be discharged here then you come to the uh, working principle working principle completed now you come to the advantage the advantage the first advantage it is leak proof as you observe this is a enclosed surface and holding both hemisphere are holding permanent holding so it is a leak proof and completely sealed housing there is no root for gas leak out of the system there are no sharp shell since both compressor and the motor seal in the same case second it is a portable and motor act as a single unit both compressor and motor are the compact and act as a single unit because both are on the same shaft and both are directly connected there is no belt or pulley is required when belt and pulley were connected between the compressor and the motor so there is chance of loss of some power but here is the direct connect that is the main advantage here so no need to reassemble compressor from the motor to move the system from one place to another since there is no belt coupling or the crankshaft the cost involved and the maintenance is also less it is compact and require a small space and lubrication here is simple there is no extra lubrication is required as the casing is a, a, a welded the two hemisphere casing are welded so we can provide the uh, external lubrication to the compressor and it is less noise and installation hermetic seal compressor is very very easy then we come to the disadvantage the disadvantage main disadvantage you are observed the maintenance is very very difficult because the moving part are inaccessible because you observe the two hemisphere are welded so we can easily access uh, the moving part and separate pump is required for evacuation and charging of refrigerant so these are about the uh, hermetic seal compressor thank you now you come to the semi hermetic compressor just now you observe the semi hermetic compressor both hemisphere are welded and the main disadvantage is there uh, the maintenance problem to avoid that thing to overcome that limitation here the <coughs> the motor and the casing part are separate here the more um, uh, casing motor part and here is the case uh, sorry compressor both arcs act as a two unit previously it is one unit and now it is two unit and this is the motor winding and here is the compressor part and this is the piston and this is the your cylinder head and these are not permanent joint these are the temporary joint not and bolt joint so that easily we can uh, replace the part and maintenance of the eg and this is the motor terminal this is the rotor and oil 
fill reservoir this is oil fill reservoir and this is the starter and this is the oil feed passage front bearing eccentric and real bearing and you observe this is a very very heavy material you are, you are using and this time the working principle of this uh, semi hermetic compressor the motor and the compressor located in a two piece of cell the semi hermetic compressor is totally different in the construction of construction than the hermetic compressor this can be seen in this figure and the compressor is constructed of heavy casing and it is blocky and heavy to handle due to the iron content in this block will here you observe the compressor has nuts and the bolt holding it together this is the main advantage to allow the unit to rebuild on the job site it too has drive the motor that turns the part of the reciprocal compressor not many this compressor will found in the residential application there be large home or real estate application then you come to the disadvantage advantage and the disadvantage of semi hermetic compressor main advantage here maintenance is easy and efficiency is high and cooling motor is also here provide your you are using cooling motor besides the motor there is a fan is there main disadvantage here the cost compared to the hermetic compressor is high because your heavy material you are using uh, that's why it is more cost than the hermetic compressor so in this video we learn about the hermetic compressor and the semi hermetic compressor and the main difference between them the hermetic compressor the compressor and the motor uh, are in the same shaft and and in a single they are enclosed in a single casing but in the semi hermetic compressor they are act as a two unit this is the main thing main difference between the semi hermetic and the hermetic compressor and the point of application the hermetic compressor generally you are using in a domestic refrigerator because of it is a very compact and semi hermetic compressor you are using in the real estate area or big big complex area where more compression ratio is required and more power is required thank you